I might be a little late to the party, but I heard it's Donkey Kong December. And let me tell you something, I'm probably the guy who has played the DKC trilogy on the Super Nintendo the most on the entire fucking planet. And this is really not a brag when you think about it. It started when I was maybe 6 or 7 years old. I didn't own a Super Nintendo at the time because my parents fucking hated video games, but I had two different cousins that owned one, and one of them had DKC1 and the other had DKC2. I'd visit cousin number one a lot more often because my grandma used to live next door, and also because she was way cooler than cousin number two. So anyways, I ended up playing the shit out of Donkey Kong Country as a result. And trust me when I say that this game is the bomb, with a capital B. Music, the movement, the graphics, the level design, the secrets, the life scarring game over screen, it was fucking awesome. Some levels were definitely less awesome than others, but overall I would still give DKC an easy, void certified rating of 10 out of 10. Now for DKC2. When I learned about DKC having a sequel, I was like, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And so when I was first able to try out DKC2 at cousin number two's place, I was like, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Everything was a step up from the original. The music was groovier, the level designs were fresh and clean, the game being pirate theme definitely nabbed my attention and my imagination. Dixie being introduced as a playable Kong over DK was a significant upgrade in so many ways, and the secrets would give you money that you could use afterwards to bribe this jacked as fuck dude to gain access to the Lost World, where some of the most challenging and off-the-wall levels reside. Dope as fuck, would play again, 14 out of 10. I was instantly hooked, but I also wasn't visiting cousin number 2 that often, so DKC2 couldn't get as much love from me as DKC1 did. Fortunately, this is around the time I learned about emulators, and was able to get a friend of my dad to set one up on our computer, along with the entire SNES library. And it was as I was scrolling through the ROM folder looking for DKC2 that I stumbled upon DKC3. And when I saw that DKC2 had a sequel too, I was like, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I tried it, and boy, they really went crazy on the color palette. I mean, look at this level's background, looks like it's fucking straight out of a Bob Ross painting or something. So yeah, visually, gorgeous game, easily the best looking DKC on the Super Nintendo. Gameplay wise, a lot of what has made DKC2 so good has been reused here, but with a bunch of extra gimmicks, some of which are quite welcome, but others not so much. Still dope as fuck though, would play again. 12 out of 10. Unfortunately, the ROMs I was playing DKC2 and DKC3 on at home had some kinds of anti-piracy checks in them, and so I was never able to complete those games as a young lad. Imagine getting to this part of the stage and having to break open the squawks crate and the game is just like, how about no? Or imagine getting to this stage and not being able to see jack shit because Funky Kong smoked the fattest blunt in there. So years later, when the GBA remakes were announced, I was ecstatic. I would finally have a chance at beating those games from my childhood that I held so dear to my heart. And they came out, and I played them, and they were alright. The music's definitely a downgrade over their SNES counterparts, the graphics are not as good, and the movement and physics do feel quite a bit different. The extra content, however, was pretty sweet. The GBA exclusive DKC3 world is some good shit right there. In any case, I beat the entire trilogy on GBA to make up for the fact that I never beat it on the SNES. I felt accomplished and happy. I had succeeded in rolling my monkeys. Fast forward to early 2013, I had discovered Twitch.tv a few months prior and also became familiar with speedrunning through the large Super Mario 64 streams that were happening at the time, as well as games done quick events. One day I was bored and decided to browse the games directory on that website, only to find out that someone was actually speedrunning Donkey Kong Country. Peachy ended up being my introduction to speedrunning, at which point I was like, wait a second, what if I were to try it out myself? A genius idea, no doubt about that. And so I did, downloaded an emulator, got my myself a totally legally acquired DKC ROM and started playing, practicing, copying what I was watching Peachy and the other DKC runners at the time do. I had a pretty enjoyable time speedrunning back then, but never really committed to it due to me also devoting time to playing Magic the Gathering, working, and just being unfocused as all hell. So I was on and off with the hobby up until the summer of 2014, which is when I decided to give it another spin, this time with Donkey Kong Country 2. And just like how it was as a kid, I was hooked from the get-go. I literally speed ran learning that freaking game. I poured so many hours of practice into it every single day like a maniac. I was addicted to getting better at it. Suffice to say, it was officially the beginning of my speedrunning journey. And back then, streaming your speedrun attempts on Twitch was a great way to not only show proof of your success, but also to interact with other people who speedrun the same games as you. And so that's exactly what I did. Void.tv became a thing in March of 2015, and three months later, I had the world record for Donkey Kong Country to any percent. And you know what I said after I got it? 
The Shrun sucks, dude. <laughs> That's fucking right, I did. My perfectionist ass couldn't be satisfied with it. And so I stuck with it and I kept improving it. And on the way there, I also picked up the other two DKC games and started speedrunning them with great success. And also on the way there, Games Done Quick allowed me to take part in their speedrunning marathons. I felt very fortunate that up until this year, I've always taken part in Games Done Quick's events whenever I've offered them runs. I'm grateful to them for being in the position that I am now, as without their exposure, you guys probably would have never been able to hear about me. But enough with the sappy shit, and let me flex my DKC speed resume real quick. 10 years of experience across all 3 games, over 40 world records across 11 different categories, breaker of several minute milestones in DKC speedrunning, 9 time GDQ runner, and many more smaller marathon appearances, and of course, French Canadian poutine connoisseur. And now I'm 29, a grown ass adult, and it's Donkey Kong December every goddamn month of the year, and I fucking love it. And if you don't believe me when I say that, I dare you to subscribe to my YouTube and Twitch channels, and if you do so, I'll then see you on the other side. Merry Christmas, and until next time, keep on rolling deep.